Jess Universe is asking, what do I do? I'm not a gamer, right? Huh? I'm buying expensive bags. Not, not Gucci, though. I can buy Gucci if I want to, okay? Yes, you can. <laughs> um, I do whatever he doesn't. So he streams, he plays games, and I take like mail. I'm gonna get my bonus points. I make sure everything runs smoothly. I do contracts, I do the campaigns. Um, I used to do travel arrangements when we actually had travel plans. Um, I edited the videos up until a um, couple of months ago. I'm taking a break right now. Sold currently, so I edited edits our videos right now. But uh, this is not maple syrup. No, it's just no, water. It's just water. Um, we just assumed because you're Canadian that you would be drinking raw maple syrup for liquids. Uh, right. Not basically. I, I kind of replaced editing the videos with these streams right now. The time it would take me to edit the videos. Uh, but I have been editing his videos and like running the YouTube channel for five years before that. Yeah. Um, taxes, uh, I don't know, but basically everything that is um, supporting to the business that is not actual streaming because he actually does the streaming. I think. The, and that's like, that is more the than The bulk a of the work of. is uh, figuring out deals and making sure they happen, happen properly and under decent terms. Uh, it's a lot of time and at the end of the day, it's not like contributing much to content. So Rania doesn't get credit for a lot of the work that she does. But at the end of the day, Rania being part of the business is why we actually make a great deal of money doing this. I mean, the where truth, otherwise we would not. <laughs> the truth is that like the amount of money we make the business as a business as a whole like in terms of views and whatever um i think it grew like probably I don't we know, talked about it, but about 15, 15 times yeah. yeah so like after we started working together yeah i mean it took it took i think about a year for us to get to the, to like the 15x because it was like a bit of a gradual thing like we would figure things out but basically what she's saying is our viewership was the same and through a gradual process of about a year maybe a year and a half our income went up about 15x doing the same same stuff yeah because we didn't have more viewers before i started working with him he had one sponsor that he had never been paid from because he never realized that he needs to make an invoice to be paid so the sponsor just didn't pay him he just promoted it for free, basically. Uh, well, they still owed me the money at some well, point okay, later. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't free. Well, I'm pretty sure that, uh, like, trust me, um, I I keep very good track of like payments and stuff. I am pretty sure there are tons of streamers out there that are just losing money because, like, the companies that are supposed to pay them. Um, but because they, they don't do the necessary actions to ask to be paid. And the companies that are supposed to pay them, they don't like push the matter. Well, you have to be asked. To there pay, are a paid. lot of agencies that would handle a number of the things that Anya does for us, but there's very few honest ones. Um, and it's like very businessy, very shady and pretty corporate in some cases where some streamers or content creators are getting so screwed they don't even know just admit it beside the stream you run the show yeah like when we sometimes go to events Crippen reduces me as his boss it's okay. like Crippen is his boss um, well like some of these companies i'm talking about are like the biggest companies in hollywood like some of these companies have like 30% of the Hollywood actors in their pocket and they're in the gaming space. So you can understand they're not doing that for pennies. Yeah. Like I don't need to get into it more than that because I probably shouldn't, but yeah. Just think of it that way and your assumptions will probably be correct. And I mean, okay, let's, let's not like, 
let's not be like let's, let's not fool ourselves here it's not that uh, all of that could work it's just the squirrel is okay. the squirrel gonna fall i have seen a squirrel fall but it was in winter so the fall wasn't too bad but uh yeah i think if it fell now it wouldn't be as nice um like it's not that all of that could be possible without him it's not that i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm creating stuff out of nothing um it's just that um streaming is much more if you want to do it right and if you want to make a good living out of it and a living like we do that is going to basically be retirement for you because who, it's not a, a business that you have job security who knows maybe next expansion is crap and uh, people don't want Hearthstone anymore and then Crypt tries to, to switch to another game that people don't like so done and it's not done completely but it's like maybe will be significant for there's no job security in this kind of, of profession i'm sorry i feel so stressed there's about a, that there's squirrel. a squirrel like rustling around in a half dead tree like i don't know how tall that thing is 50 that feet is, up that is definitely his barrel there it's it's tall it's like really tall it's i just at I, least I 50 feet gonna up. fall anytime now I, I know squirrels don't generally fall down the trees i'm just yeah, yeah this one does not look very well so anyway my point is that yeah I, i'm not making stuff out of nothing it's not that there is not the material there to work on because he's a very loved and very consistent streamer um well but I, yeah my, my point was if you don't have if you want to make a good living out of this business because there is no job security in this business and you want to make retirement money um you definitely need someone to yes run the show make sure that things are kept together grow the business don't miss anything uh work on getting actually new um sponsors and good sponsors um um i don't know keep track of stuff support but yeah what i'm saying is all true it just it might sound a bit weird because we have been very big in space and very successful for like almost a decade but that has taken a lot of work and a lot of time uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I also think that we. But I think we are a big exception to that. We generally work seven days a week, almost 365 days a year, almost. It's, I mean, sure, every now and then we might take a day off or a couple of days off, or every now and then we might be traveling, so we won't stream on that day. But it is, it is definitely closer to 365 days a year than anything else. No, on leap years, we take the extra day off, guys. Sorry. 366 is a leap year. Right. Traveling in 2020, Keck W. Do you really have to to rub that in our face, Leonidas? Do you? I think it's okay because I think I think Leonidas from the U.S. He is more affected than we are. Mm. Mm. Like the. From how it's going... Bernard is not from the US, though. from Canada. I was from mm -hmm. Canada, okay. Mm -hmm. From how things are going, the last people that are doing any traveling are people from the US right now. Uh, back to, to what you were saying, uh, saying like about streaming, because someone mentioned that... Like, we've mentioned it many times, but... Okay, here here goes one more time. Like, I, I won't say that it's a crap job, because it's not. It's... We're lucky to be able to do that job. Anyone that is able to make money of like streaming and good living out of streaming and get video games and playing video games is lucky to be doing that job now that being said um it is still a job meaning you know there are still days that even streamers and gamers but don't feel sometimes. like playing a game i need a padded cushion for my tush we can get that if you want. The wood is just so hard on my bum, guys. Okay, we can, can get you, that. Can you believe how hard my life is right now? Um, but yeah, it's still a job. There are definitely days that even gamers just don't want to game. 
I know it might come as a shock, but a job is a job. And also, as I said, it's um, it's a lot of support stuff that are not fun at all. Um, that is even probably more work than the actual streaming. But if you want to make a good living out of it, you need to do it. And we're lucky that I am doing it. Um, and we can work as a team. If you don't have anyone in your family uh, to do it, then you have to hire someone to do it. And that's another whole headache because that person is very much responsible for making or breaking you. And you need to trust them. And again, yeah, that's a whole new headache mm -hmm. because you, get, you either have to hire a person yourself or go to like a, a management company with anything that this brings and it's also it's, it's stressful anything that has to do with popularity it's stressful because as i said there's no job security you uh, don't know if you like your whole job your whole life livelihood your whole livelihood not, not life livelihood depends on how much people like what you put out there um, uh, as, a, as content, right? So there are some lucky big streamers, our size and even bigger, that could retire uh, yesterday. But people that are in the medium category and down, they can't retire. They don't have, they haven't made retirement money. So for them, it's even more stressful. Am I going to have the same audience tomorrow to keep actually mm -hmm. making a living out of that? Um, and someone said most streamers don't stream seven days a week. The truth is, sure, maybe it's not seven days, but the streamers that are medium sized have either in the past or still currently stream significantly more hours in a week than someone would work a job so some people might stream like maybe six days a week or something but you know Look, seven hours on each of those days my advice on it's that it's still a lot of time you have to put in my advice on that is that it's it's completely personal if you don't feel like you can do it you shouldn't do it in the long term it won't be good for your like mental health and it would, won't be good for your sanity like if as a streamer, you just need one, two days a week a break, you should uh, take a break. Um, the best advice on that is just, it needs to be consistent. Like um, it's better, it's better, not, not it needs. It's better if it is consistent, meaning that you choose one day or two days and those are the days you don't stream because audiences build habits around you, right? Um, and it's easier for them to follow about that. But that doesn't mean necessarily for me that like this is what we do is, is like unhealthy because honestly, we would probably be doing exactly the same thing that we do. Like he would probably be playing games even if he didn't stream at one night. Um, like it's, for us, streaming is quite incorporated in our lives. Um, and we know that our lives won't always be like that, most likely, but right now, this is it. Like, streaming for us is, for example, I don't know, it's Christmas, and our understanding is that Christmas is gonna be a celebration on stream. We're gonna be just, you know, I don't know, cook something, play something fun, drink some booze, and we're gonna celebrate it with people on stream. And it's not, it's not contested, that. So it's, it's literally just a part of our life. It's not, oh my God, like, let's do it. I don't know. Purple Rain asks, is there a particular reason you guys don't always thank subscribers or answer people who cheer with a question? I think for the most part we do. Um, on this stream or on his stream? On, 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 on this stream, stream it's difficult we're just with losing. donations yeah, we're, because um, we're using like a phone app um, to stream and it's, Typically, we're doing some pretty active stuff for the most part. Um, Rania's style of streaming, which I've kind of tried to adapt to, is to go through chat very uh, 
thoroughly rigorously. if I can, yes. Yes. Um, like in my chat, I read most of the comments, but I don't reply to most of them. I do read most of them, I just don't reply to them. Uh, Ranya tries to stream in a way where she does reply to most of the comments. But yeah, it's very difficult when streaming that way to also do donations because we're using our phones to keep track of chat. And if it scrolls past yeah. and I'm talking about something else and she'd I have to use like a different app to check donations. And even when we did use that, it had some update issues. No, for donations, I usually get an email, so I, I notice it. But for tears and stuff, sometimes yeah. if it scrolls, it goes by fast and it just it's missed by chat. Like I scroll back sometimes, but I don't necessarily always see it. And I'm sorry about that. I so, do try to keep track of, track of everything. It's just having having a phone in front of me instead of having a whole computer that keeps a list and stuff. It's it's more difficult. On my stream, I don't want to constantly be focusing on that. The core of my stream is just playing games. Um, I I think there's very few subs and donations that I don't read out, but I usually do that in the breaks, like in between. Battlegrounds games, for example, and usually um, that is every like 20 to 30 minutes. And you also have to consider that so on some of those breaks, I have to like use the bathroom or I have to take care of something. So you might think I'm not actually personally thanking your subscription, but the case is I might do it like 40 minutes later and you just didn't notice it. Yeah. I think there's very few that I miss. I know there are some that I miss because the log is not infinite, especially when there's like a lot of people subbing. I'm sure I miss a few of them, especially if I do like a break to the bathroom in between and there's just too many on the list. I'm sure I miss some people, but I think I think my hit rate on thanking subs is at least 70-80%, which I think is pretty good when you get that many notifications. Uh, so uh, this, I think... It, it, this squirrel is really like... <laughs> triggering. So, no, distracting today, yeah. so distracting. Yeah. So when I how critical hurts when it's the business, I mean, it's pretty critical, but like... I think we can pretty easily latch on to a big game. Um, it's just like, not a lot of the big games interest me that much. Um, yeah, that's the problem. Like my, my style yeah. of playing games is to play a game for a long time. And it needs to be a game that gets lots of updates and it needs to be a game that can be fun even in the, the down portions. Yeah, that, that's the concern that um, he's not exactly a variety streamer. So he would either need to go completely variety, which is kind of difficult. I kind of have to are, force myself to do that. There are big names in that area, and he is not exactly. That's a different word. He is not exactly like a person that jumps from game to game. He gets very obsessed with some games, um, or he would have to find a completely new game. Which, again, yeah, what, what would like? Which game would it be? Uh, and would the audience like it? And would he like it enough to like actually play it as much as he played Hearthstone? Like, if it wasn't Hearthstone, what would I that game be? I can't show you the squirrel, be? I'm sorry. Because the there are two squirrels. There's a gray one somewhere there, and there's a black one somewhere there. They're the same species. Uh, they just come in two colors, both gray yeah. and black. Um, and the like, I, I, I see them for like just a second, and I just see... Um, Brands is moving, so I can really show you the score. It's just distracting because I see Brands is moving all the time. I quit WoW because WoW in the low periods is not a very fun game at all. I mostly played WoW as long as I did because of the people who I played it with. Uh, like, I don't... WoW is a really tough forever game. It's really tough. It's tougher than you think. Um, like, you might see, like, Asmongold play it all the time. Asmongold is, like, probably a person who loves WoW as much as anyone can possibly love WoW. Yet, with as much as he streams, the social aspect of the stream is maybe even the majority to what he does. So, you know, if you take that away, could he really play WoW as much as he would and still, like, enjoy it? I'm not so sure. Maybe you could. I don't know him that well, but I think that would be tough. And it certainly would be tough for me. I don't know if WoW is a forever game anymore. Uh, PoE is not a forever game. PoE is a great game, but, like, a few weeks after a league, maybe a month after a league, it just feels like you hit that burnout wall pretty hard. And sometimes when you play a lot one league, you don't feel as motivated the next league. Kind of what happened to me this time as well. So, like, what are we looking at? I don't know. Some people play TFT all the time. Maybe. TFT is pretty fun. Like, maybe I could play that. But I don't, I don't know if that's a forever game. 
I don't know what what game I would like definitely dive into if it wasn't Hearthstone. Yeah. Um, MTGA, Civ, streamer. He has kind of like been obsessing with Civ, yeah. Uh, I'm sure if I played if I played Civ all day every day, I think in a month I would be pretty damn bored of it. Yeah. If it wasn't for Twitch, would you still be earning money? Uh, yeah, YouTube is doing very well, and um, the thing is that he would need to be playing off stream to make YouTube content, which why not do it on stream, right? I guess that if somehow, I don't know, Twitch closed yesterday completely, he, yeah, we would continue YouTube and uh, maybe probably even stream on YouTube too. You can stream on what? anything. You can stream on anything. You can stream on fucking Instagram. But we do have some audience on YouTube already. Yeah. Um, you get it, squirrels living trees. Do they now? Do they now? Well, being frustrated with a game and enjoying it are not completely mutually exclusive. And also, think that he plays so many hours. Like, he's experience with Hearthstone is an average person's experience over a m week condensed condensed in like two days or well, one day so of course it you're going to see him it happens so much but people don't people don't really use my opinion on other parts of the game as well like when a new expansion comes out and I'm like fed up with the meta with like the meta with like what's happening in standard like four days in and i'm like guys in two weeks you're gonna hate standard and like two weeks later you go to reddit people hate standard but people don't go back and like oh yeah crip was right i know the parts of hurtsome that can be played for a long period of time okay. so that would there be was a, a question that i think might be interesting to discuss um it was like five minutes ago in chat but i saw this on uh on reddit as well okay. apparently Recful. I don't know when it was, some time ago, maybe a year or two ago, suggested that um, it'd be good if these platforms would have, like, would enforce, oh, like, so weekends, yeah. basically. Mm, nah. I, it, I thought about it, and it seems like such a difficult concept to wrap your brain around when it comes to implicating it, like... To implementing it? In, implementing it, yeah. No, it's very easy. They don't have to force weekends on specific days. Yes. You just can stream five days in a week if you reached five different right, but, dates in a week that's it you can't stream anymore but the, the supposedly the but the way I think the way that people like actually grow their channel is specifically through obsessive content output in key which times. also might not be healthy but my point but, is Okay, you could have like, I don't know, three times a year exceptions for a week. I don't know. Like, I'm sure this could be implemented somehow. I just really think it's it's not the way to go. Forcing people to not stream just to like get it off your back and say, oh, I'm doing something for healthy gaming is not the way to go, to do, to go because that would be it. But forcing them to not stream, I don't. I think it's, it would help. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. I think it would help some people, but it, it would certainly hurt other people. So it's very difficult to like appropriately implement a system like that. Something smells really good. Someone's baking potatoes in the barbecue. Is that a vegan uh, enhanced smell? It must be. Maybe you have coronavirus. Yeah. Vegan detect plants. If there is no Hearthstone anymore, will we both think to start a company and hire streamers and take the management side? Uh, no. It's, it's the shit. It's terrible work. Managing streamers is worse than herding cats. It's not herding cats. It's worse than that. Um, the majority of streamers, yeah, are are all over the place in terms of how responsible, how professional they are, um, they're young, many of them, um, they, the successful ones got success, but um, really fast, 
uh, I, I guess I need to say that every time, yes, generalizations are not good. I'm not saying that everyone is like that. Clearly, not everyone is like that. But it is not an easy job. And um, I don't see why do that when we can do other things that we would enjoy more. Like, honestly, like at some point, if for some reason we don't do games and stuff anymore, I would like to do Screw that. I'm playing games. traveling content. I'm oh. playing games when you're sleeping, when you travel. It's fine. Okay. Or like uh, cooking content. Like, I think we will always be making content. Just probably at some point, be it gaming content still or traveling or cooking or whatever else. I don't know. It's just, or gardening, I don't know. I just think it won't be as intense. Like it would be maybe fewer hours, maybe fewer days, maybe it would, we would take breaks and then come back. I don't know, it's not something that I have like thought it out, but definitely I would not go into management, no. Thank I, you for subscribing. I think we would do a good job. Chaotic Bliss, oh, we would do an amazing job. Yes. Trust I think, me. I think the problem is that it's real shit work. Yeah. I'm not saying that we wouldn't do an amazing job. We would do the best job out there. But... Uh, no. 